tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo, boo, boo. Don't cry. I was just telling a joke. You will subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Hey there everybody, today I wanted to go a little bit deeper into our Siri program. So this is part two, if you have not seen the part one on how to build this so far, then please refer back to my other video for that first part and then you can continue here. But today I wanted to talk about uh, having your program give you some audio feedback. So sometimes we want our program to um, ask us for further information and I want it to say it out loud, okay? And so we're going to install a dependency uh, this is called uh, GTTS, so we're going to run pip install GTTS, all lowercase like that, and GTTS stands for Google Text to Speech, and so yes, we're going to be getting Google's help for that, okay? So this is a very basic way of doing this. So I'm going to open up my terminal, so let's go ahead and install GTTS, so I'm going to say pip install G TTS, all lowercase, and that should be pretty quick. Uh, GTTS is actually a pretty small uh, library. If you look at the GTTS documentation uh, for Python, you can go there and it will uh, be a very, very short documentation. So not a lot to it, uh, but here's how we now implement that, okay? So I want to actually create some kind of um, function to do this. So I'm actually going to just comment my program out so far and I'm going to now import or I need to say uh, from GTTS import G capital T T capital S just like that. Okay. And now let's create a function. I'm just going to call it speech. You can call it whatever you want. Just keep in mind that I'm calling it speech in case you need to change that out throughout your program, okay? And I'm just going to put in text, and it's not necessarily gonna be the same text that my audio is recording from what I say in my microphone. No, I wanna give it some different text. Um, and this will be the text that I want the computer to say. So with that text, I want us to, um, I want it to print the text on our console. Uh, because whenever I say something to Siri, it writes down what I say as well as the response from Siri. So Siri will say something back. So that's why I'm going to say print text like this. Okay. So now that I got my text printing out, let's select the language that we want it to say. So I'm going to say language equals en. That's for English. Um, and so this is pretty much picking the, the voices almost. Um, if I did uh, ES for Spanish, um, it would still say the English words just fine. It would just give it a Spanish accent, okay? Uh, but I'm just gonna say English. And now I'm going to create a variable called output. And output's going to take in my text, the language, and we're also gonna let it know what speed to uh, record it in, okay? So I'm going to say GTTS, keep in mind the capitalization there, and I'm gonna set text equal to text, okay? And these are just some props that we're going to be sending to Google, okay? And then the language is going to be the language that we selected, which is English, okay? And then I'm gonna say slow is false, and you can mess with that if you like. If you want your Siri to talk faster to you, you can set this to, um, to false, or if you want it slow, you can say true, okay? Awesome, so we're actually almost done with this function. We've only got a couple more lines to do, and now I want to take that output, and I want to save it, okay? So I'm gonna say output.save like this, now I want to give it a path name, okay? So I think I want to create another uh, directory here. I'm going to call it sounds. Um, yeah, I'll just say sounds. And then inside the sounds is where I want this to be saved. So I'm going to say dot slash sounds 
slash now whatever you want to call this uh, file. I'm just going to call it output.mp3. And so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so far. Okay, so I'm going to say speech, and I, now I need to give it some text. I'm going to say hello there. Okay, so it gave me the text, which is what I wanted. It printed, and now if I go to sounds, it's all there, okay? But now I want to actually play the sound of the text, okay? And I actually need to install this dependency, so I'm gonna say pip install play sound. Okay, so successfully installed, and I'll just add that up here to my notes. I'll say pip install play sound so that you don't forget. And now I'm going to say from play sound, import play sound. So play sound will just play my mp3 file for me. So really simple. Now I'm just go here underneath my output.save and say play sound. What sound do I want to play? Well, let's give it that same path. I can say dot. Uh, dot slash sounds forward slash output dot mp3 because that's what I called it. Okay, so let's see how that works now. Hello there. There you go. Uh, hopefully, you could hear that through the microphone, but it did say hello there. So let's try something else. Salty killer is coding. Awesome. And now let's kind of play with this and see how slow it sounds when I set this to true. Salty killer is coding. So you can see it's pretty slow, so I think I like it this speed. Salty killer is coding. Awesome. Uh, let's try this in the Spanish. And you can see that she is still saying the words correctly, it's just an accent. And that's what I was trying to talk about before. So set this back to English or whatever language you'd like. Um, there's lots of different uh, languages you can do. Um, now that I have that working, now I can just use the speech function that we created uh, wherever we'd like in our program, okay? So let's say that when we want to use that, let's say, so if you remember from part one, I was saying, whenever I'm saying the word YouTube, I want it to search my text using YouTube, okay? So while it's doing that, I want my speech to say, okay, I will bring that up on YouTube for you, okay? So let's see if that works. Show me something really cool on YouTube. Okay, I will bring it up on YouTube for you. Okay, and this is bringing up just a random quote unquote cool video for YouTube. So that's working really nicely. And now you can do whatever you'd like with that. So uh, sometimes Siri or Alexa can tell you jokes. So I can say Elif joke in text dot lower then you can simply put in a random joke if you'd like uh, you can even do like a random list of jokes if you have a code data joke database or something like that that'd be fun so i can say okay so let's see if that works i'll hit run tell me a joke knock knock who's there boo 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 don't cry. I was just telling a joke. And you can see that worked. So it doesn't matter what I say, as long as I have the word joke in my text that I just said, uh, then it will run that. So you can have a whole database of that. You can say, hi, how are you? And it can have some random responses. And there's lots and lots of things that you can do for that. Okay. So um, uh, the other request that I had was to have some kind of sound. So you have a sound like this. If I press Siri up here, you can hear that sound, right? And so, and so we can do something, something like that. Um, so, I will include a um, this file 
of the wave file that I'm going to be sending in, but I'm going to drag and drop my wave file here, okay? And I just called it activate. And something that I can simply do is put in that sound for whenever I say say something. So let's come down to my say something. And I think I want it to play after it says say something. Okay, so I want it to print say something and then say it as well. So I'm going to have it say speech say something and then I want it to play sound and what sound do I want it to play? I want it to play the one I just inserted into sounds dot activate activate dot wave because it's a wave file so let's see what happens so what this should do if it works is that if I hit run it should say it should play the sound or it should say say something and then the sound say something show me something awesome on youtube okay i will bring it up on youtube for you okay so you can see that works and this has say something twice so i'm going to get rid of this print statement and now you can see that's working fine. So that's how you have some feedback for your Siri program or Alexa. And I think next time for our part three, I will show you guys how to activate your program by saying, hey Siri, or by saying, hey Alexa, or hey R2D2, or whatever you like, okay? So if you do like these videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe so that you are notified for the next time I come up with a tutorial. And I do take some uh, requests and suggestions. So please let me know your request down in the comments. I do wanna make these videos according to your desires and likes. So go ahead and drop those. And thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and happy coding.